In a geometric series, the common ratio is r, and the sum to n terms is sn. Given that the sum to infinity is equal to 8 over 7 multiplied by the sum of the first six terms, show that r is equal to plus or minus 1 over root k, where k is an integer to be found. So first of all, we need to write down the, the equation for the sum to infinity of a geometric series and the sum of the first n terms of a geometric series. So the sum to infinity formula can be written as a divided by 1 minus r. This is just a formula you have to learn. And similarly, the sum to n terms, and there are two formulas for the sum to n terms of a geometric series, um, and they are exactly the same, but they're just a bit easier to use. Um, if r is greater than or less than 1, you pick a different one. But since we don't know the value of r, um, we can't pick which one, depending on that. So it doesn't really matter which one we can use. So if we use a multiplied by 1 minus r to the power of n, all divided by 1 minus r. Um, so now we have these two formulas. We can put them into the equation that we were given. So the sum to infinity is a divided by 1 minus r. And then we have 8 over 7 multiplied by the sum of the first six terms. So all this means is that in the sum of n terms formula we have, we replace n with 6. So we have 1 minus r to the power of 6 instead of n. And then this is all divided by 1 minus r. Now writing out the formula in this form, not simplified or anything, gives us our first mark. Because um, we've shown we know the formulas and we know how to use them in context. So now if we go to simplify this formula, we can start out by multiplying out the brackets on the right hand side. So we'll have 8a multiplied by 1 minus r to the power of 6 all over 7 multiplied by 1 minus r. Now you can see on both sides that, that there's a 1 minus r in the denominator. So if we multiply both sides by 1 minus r, these two will cancel out and we're left with a is equal to 8a multiplied by 1 minus r to the power of 6 all over 7. Now there's also an a on both sides. So if we divide both sides by a, we're left with 1 is equal to 8 multiplied by 1 minus r to the power of 6 over 7. And then if we multiply both sides by 7 and then divide by 8, we'll be left with 1 minus r to the power of 6 is equal to 7 over 8. Now, if we go further to solve this and add r to the power of 6 to both sides and then take away 7 over 8 from both sides, we're left with r to the power of 6 is equal to 1 over 8. And now this gets us our next two marks. Um, getting the formula just in terms of r uh, is our second method mark. And then our third method mark comes from getting the r to the power of 6 is equal to 1 over 8. And then we can solve this further by taking the sixth root of everything. And obviously the sixth root of 1 is just 1. But the sixth root of 8 can also be written as root 2. Uh, and therefore we can write, I should add a plus or minus in front of that, we can write that r is equal to plus or minus 1 over root 2 which is just the form that they've given in the question here. And so we can say, that to be a bit more specific, that therefore k is equal to 2. Uh, and this will get us our final marks, because we've, we've solved the question when we've told them that k is equal to 2.